So I decided to see what the film uh, On the Other Foot is all about. I remember seeing about it because the BBFC gave it a 15 certificate for just one reason. One word only. Racism. Which is certainly an important issue under the um, blanket term of discrimination. Um, if you are curious about this film, this is essentially an anglicised remake of Watermelon Man. Melvin Von Peebles directed it back in the 70s. It was still relevant back then and it's still relevant now. Uh, as essentially as a white person with bigoted beliefs ultimately has to take into the form of a black man to see how his life would be if he was the wrong colour in a predominantly white society. It's very political. Some will say, oh, it's very woke. I don't like this, all this lefty crap. Well, fuck off. That's your problem. I think this needs to be made and it needs to be said. And even if it is a remake and it is cheesy, that wasn't really a problem to me. I actually thought this was one of the better films of 2022. There's a lot of funny moments. A lot of sort of social commentary that was made in a way that uses the satire that you probably otherwise would not, wouldn't, you know, would see in something like Borat. Or Brassai. So I don't see how it's any different. I think just in a climate right now where Brexit and the COVID crisis, where everyone's blaming certain groups of people for their failings, and then George Floyd, Ahmaud Arbery, uh, Breonna Taylor being killed by police, um, the film's message is still important and resonant even to this day. And if that doesn't appeal to you, then, well, your problem. I think the left and the right should divide itself so we know who's who and who isn't. Sometimes you can have a change of patient life. There's been many people who have had white nationalist leanings who have broken out of their shell and decided to distance themselves from those sort of far-right extremist groups, like people who support the National Front or UKIP or BNP. But um, I'm seeing a lot less of that so. Social media is also to blame as well. This film could have even been made in the 80s or the 90s and the message still would have been quite relevant. You might think to yourself, oh, you cry at certain scenes. But don't. Have a strong stomach. You'll be better for it. Also, reject the, the 15 on this one. I think this is appropriate for a 12 certificate, if anything, because the message is important. It's also not gratuitous on the sexual content or language enough to push it to 15, at least in my opinion. I felt that way about the recent anime film Flea. That got a 15 for rather trivial reasons, but I think a younger audience could benefit from something like this. Also, if you do like this film, also check out um, other films that deal with racial issues like Master or Emergency that came out this year. That I also liked as well. Master, a little more so than Emergency, but on the other foot, is definitely the best one in regards to its discussion on race relations. And it's a British film. Not very many British films deal with the, that particular subject head on. It's more of an American sort of thing, or, at the, or on a lesser extent, South African. France has been doing these types of films for a while, with the likes of Les Miserables, uh, Antouchab, Samba, and then Qu'est-ce qu'on a fait au bon Dieu, which means, what are we doing in the name of God? Which I actually think is a very good movie. But, um, you yeah. know, that depends on if you're willing to see foreign language titles. I don't know if most people are nowadays but um yeah give on the other foot a try it's available video on demand